Good afternoon, and this is Angela with Dogwood Paper Arts, and welcome back. Um, today, I am feeling a little bit of inspiration from this piece of paper. It's a rice paper by Stamperia, and I um, I do have the paper pack here. I'm not feeling a lot of inspiration today for anything really. <laughs> um, I got up and cleaned the house and did all that stuff. And, but anyway, I, um, let's take a look at this pack. Oh, it is a beautiful paper. That's for sure. Just kind of uh, feeling clunky today. Do you ever have a clunky day? <laughs> uh, it's my clunky day. It's because I don't know whether to work on Christmas or just work on something. This is beautiful. It's a little fairy in it. It's very pretty. So anyway, I am I'm thinking about working on a collage. And since I was inspired by the rice paper, I have two pieces that I want to show you. I thought maybe we would work on a collage. So, it's always a lot to do. And if it works out that I need to jump back to Christmas, Oh, excuse me. I, just, I had, took a little nap. <laughs> I'm tired now. Um, so that's the Stamperia or Stamperia, whichever one it's called. Now the other one that I was inspired by, a rice paper, with this collection is this one. The dragonfly. This one inspires me quite a bit. Um, so I would like to use parts. Oops, sorry, I've got the yawns. Parts of this paper and part of this, and let's see where it goes. You know, I'm. I'm. It kind of felt like making a collage. So I purchased a little 12 by 12 canvas the other day from Walmart. And it's pre gessoed, but it still feels very sandpapery to me. So I'm going to give it a little sanding and gesso it again. But before we do that, um, just some things you might need if you'd like to collage along with me. Um, you'll need a canvas. It doesn't have to be 12 by 12. You can go smaller or bigger if you want. Um, I did get a deep sided um, canvas because I like to just hang them on the wall without a frame and then um, decorate the sides and that becomes its own frame that way. So some other things you'll need is uh, like a rice paper or perhaps you just want to use some tissue paper or some little bits of tissue paper. I'm running out of this one as you can see. Um, you will also need some gesso 
if you're going to regesso your canvas. You can buy them pre like I did, but if they feel kind of sandpapery, they may not be gessoed quite well enough. Um, they may just have a, a wash of gesso, gesso on them, which um, if you're going to collage on them, you're probably going to want to gesso it so that your uh, canvas gets thicker and um, won't absorb all your paint and products and glues and stuff that it can do and end up warping your canvas. Um, the first thing though I want to do before we, we continue on is I want to spray the back of this. Let me just check my if it's in a misty mode. Um, if you spray the back of this to start with and just I probably have way too much but it's going to absorb it. Um, if you spray the back of it first this canvas is going to tighten up. It'll get really firm up here. It's already starting to firm up. And you do want it to be a little firmer. Let me grab my sanding block. And we'll sand that down a little bit. Sanding block, where are you? Oh, I see you. You cannot get away from me. I got a brand new one to use. <coughs> <clears throat> My voice has been leaving me lately. Don't know what's going on there. Ta da! This is a 3M sandblaster. Lasts three times longer. Smooth finish between coats and it is clog resistant. Just so you know. Um, so I'm just going to give this a light sanding. Not much. I have put down my um, working. Uh, mat that is always so dirty. So this is noisy. You might want to turn down your volume for a minute while I do this. Or just listen to the whole experience with me. Oh yeah, that's feeling better already. Oh yeah, tightening up like a drum, you hear that? Oh yes, much, much better. You hear it? Isn't that cool? How it just stiffens it up so beautifully. It's getting nice and tight now. Okay, so while well, that finishes drying a little bit. Yeah, you can see it really does not have much gesso on it or we'd get a little more powder off of it. Um, we're not getting a lot. So it's probably just got a quick wash of gesso on it. Um, probably a watered down and they just probably spray it as it's going through the getting made machine. Okay, the other thing you might need is I have a light molding paste or modeling paste, whatever, however they say it. Um, I have a regular one. It's a... Uh, a gel medium, medium modeling paste and I have a light one. We're trying both maybe. I'll probably start with the regular. I brought in a soft gel matte medium. This is a little thinner than the heavy body. Um, and it uh, usually doesn't open. And I'll tell you that. Close your ears. You ready? You just have to break the seal that is around the edge where it kind of glues itself down. And this is all it is. 
Woohoo! Let me move this up a little bit. Let's see if that gives you a little better light. Yep, it does. It gives me a lot of light. Oh! Yeah, still, still have some light there. Okay. Um, what else might you need? Um, Mod Podge. Um, if you don't want to use the soft gel matte medium, you can use a matte uh, Mod Podge. You could use a glossy or a semi-gloss if you want. You can also use a watered down glue if you like. That works just fine. Um, glue stick will work to instantly put things down if you want to use that. It would be like a temporary type thing you're using it for. Because as it gets wet, as you're putting everything down, um, you know, you know. Um, the other thing I got before I was inspired by this is I bought these at Walmart the other day when I was there when I bought this. Um, th this is a mixed media paper that they had. It's, um, I'm going to turn it sideways here. It's, um, not too thick. Um, does it say? No. Does it say how, how thick it is? But it had some interesting, um, collage papers in it that I thought were quite neat. Um, not that one so much. I love this one. Look at that. Um, I thought that was cool. Like the wood. This I'm in love with. And this to me kind of goes with that picture over there. That's very pretty. I love that. This is unique. That's rusty. It's rusty. Uh, not so much that one. This one really spoke to me. I love that. So I'm just going to go ahead and tear that one out because I am pretty sure I'm going to use that one. And let me go back and go ahead and grab. Um, oh, that's pretty. You might use a tear off of that too. Now this doesn't mean I'm going to use all these. It just means that something about it is making my clock tick right now. <laughs> um, okay, now that, I, I love that one, but it's good words. That's a good one. That looks like a rug. Okay. So they had this one, and then they had this one this vintage design I guess I could turn it this way isn't that pretty 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 fun um this has a lot of cameras and typewriters in it too which don't speak to me for this piece. But this did. Like a grungy newspaper look. Now this paper is quite lightweight. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? That'd make a pretty envelope. Ooh, let's make an envelope. There's a pretty envelope there too. Corks. Music sheets, magnifying glasses, alphabet. Now this one um, speaks to me quite a bit. And I also have pattern paper in the drawer. Beside me. Leather, nope. Map, compass, nope. Um, Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Ooh. 
this is why I turned it this way. <laughs> oh, that speaks to me for something different. Oh, isn't that beautiful? I love that. Telephone dial. That's it on that one. I must have had some water on there. Otherwise, I don't know exactly where the water's coming from. I must have sprayed some over that way. So, um, definitely going to have to pull some writing, I think, out of the, maybe this one. Did I grab that one already? I think I, maybe I did. Maybe I forgot. Oh, there it is. Okay. So I'm going to set those aside. Somewhere. I don't know where, but somewhere I am going to set them aside. And... Um... Those over there. These are some of my other papers. Ooh. I have another one down here. Let's see what it is. Spring calling. Hello, spring. You're too far away. I cannot hear you right now, spring. Spring, 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 spring. That's a pretty one. I like um, some of these elements in this one with the colors. Now, the easiest thing to do would be to just put the matte medium down and throw that thing on here, but that would not make us use our little creative bits and pieces. So I was thinking that to um, allow myself just to be inspired by that piece and perhaps take from it some elements that um, we can kind of use to um, boost our little, little bit of creativity, a little bit of thought. Um, maybe make it a little thought-provoking, um, uh, like, um, let me see. maybe I can explain it better this way by showing it to you. Um, we can recreate this without this piece. We're still going to use this piece, but if you take a look at this in the background here, you're looking way back. This little bit of pink newsprint back here is way to the back. It's like they put that one down first. And then if you look some more at it, you'll say, oh, well, now this one's way to the back too. Because this little piece is collaged on top of this one. And then if you look over in here, you can almost see the canvas back in there. Put that up there for you. You can almost see what might be the canvas behind this little piece right here. And this is stenciled on, and then there is a uh, a modeling paste in the that they've um, put over it, and then pulled the. Well, we'll get we'll get there. The other thing that I notice about it is that it's kind of like a piece of wood back behind this teal color, 
and that they put the teal over it and then sanded it. Now we could do something like that or we could put down some color and then put a piece of paper over it and before the paper dries all the way we can peel it up and that will leave us a torn area of stuff. Or we can put our paper over it and then sand through it. It's just some ideas. So then as you come forward on this you start seeing um, little bits of stuff that look like it could be up on top. Um, here's like um, maybe some paint in here and it looks like they've put a crackle paste on it or it could be that they used um, like a mulberry paper or something like that there. So um, we could use paint to take care of that. Um, we could use mulberry papers and um, and this is obviously a top layer but behind it here look at this looks like a torn wallpaper back in here it's very pretty um, here's some staining I don't think I have the little staining um, stencil but we can stain it with a cup we can dip this in coffee dye and stain it with that or we can dip it in uh, uh, gray blue paint and and just stamp it on it'll be the same thing we can get a coffee cup and use the bottom of it so it looks like a real coffee cup was sitting on it which then you could say oh my coffee cup did that darn thing um, and then of course as you come more and more forward you have like I said your flowers on top you have of course your, your dragonflies on top and this is a uh, more on top and the butterflies of course we would put them on top because that's the way we would treat a butterfly we would want him to be free we would want him to have wings to fly Oh, creativity is the greatest expression of liberty. Hmm. My greatest expression of liberty is my dog named Liberty. She is like full expression, full on. So anyway, that's kind of where we're going today. So um, this is just kind of a get you started, gather up your supplies and get your canvas gessoed. Oh, I have wax paper in this one. That does help. Um, it does tear and twist and turn because it sticks to the gesso. So you do have to exchange it. And look at this. It needs to be stirred up. It is really yucky. Let me grab something to stir it with. Somewhere over yonder. I have a big jar and in my big jar is a magic stirring stick. Oh, not going to bang that one on the counter. Thank you Cousin Kathy for this beautiful big jar. I absolutely love it. Stir that up. Oh yeah. Okay. Ta da! Paint on my hands. Okay, I'm feeling it now. Woohoo! Uh, the best way to just show your canvas is to just start slapping it on there. Um, it depends on how many times you're going to gesso it. I will probably gesso this two or three times. So we will be waiting between drying. But on my next coat I'll flip this this other way and I will paint it this other direction. 
or I'll leave it sitting here and I'll just paint it the other direction like this. You don't have to be exact like that. I just like the way that it looks once it's done that way. I like the way the brush marks look in it. Not that you'll see it when it's all collaged. Oh, 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 I just got glob on myself. I just broke my rule of paint. Hang on. It's usually my art sweater anyway, but let me grab my apron. Let's see, which one shall we use? I guess this one. We'll put on Mr. Pumpkin base apron. See? He's got a pumpkin base. I don't know if you can see that, but I don't want to put it right on the canvas because Mr. Pumpkin face has cat hair on him. And we don't want that all over our canvas. Okay, here we go. Let me tuck in the pumpkin head um, stem. Oh, look at that again here. Stop. Go away, cat hair. Go away, go away. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do it this other direction really quick. better if I mix it up a little bit. So anyway, if I do three coats, I always do one in one direction, one in the next other direction next time, and then I do one this way. Just just to mix it up. No, no, no rhyme or reason for me. It's just how I do it. So... Um, you can just sew the same direction both times. You can only just sew once if you want. That's okay too. And I do try to stick with getting the sides just sewed at the same time, even though it makes my hands all just sewy. But I kind of like paint stuff. So it doesn't bother me to get it all over my hands. Um, we may only need to do one coat on this, so you know, just to you just have to kind of feel it and see how it feels to you. If it feels like a workable canvas to you, then go for it. It Some people do not just sew their canvases at all. I, I took me a long time to figure, it, figure out why they wouldn't just sew, but it's um, just preference, really. Just pure preference. So if you don't like a gessoed canvas, then you don't have to gesso it. There's no right or wrong way. It's just how your way of how you are comfortable at painting and and doing things. Okay, so there we go. Now we have to let that dry. So, let's see, I have my water here. I'm going to just put my brush in there and squish it down a bit. And I'm going to grab a paper towel. And that's really it for right now. So just um, gather up what you think you might like to collage on here. Uh, you know, we could take that little girl out of the Stamperia pad and the little fairy I showed you she would be very pretty on here and we could put her in a bundle of flowers we're going to probably use some dried flowers I don't know for sure 
but we'll see. Oh, another hair. I see it. Come out of there, little hair. Doesn't really matter, you know. Um, on that not very sharp blade. Pull that out of the crack. So I can see it's kind of transparent to me, so I probably will just sew it another another coat before I come back to you. Um, it's just um, I want it to have a lot of a lot of weight to it for the um, weight of the collage that's going to go on top of it. So. Anyway, that is all I have for today. Grab your gesso and your canvas and get it gessoed and come back tomorrow for the next uh, tearing the paper down and putting it on with glue. Or you can use glue, you can use Mod Podge, or you can use gel medium. It's up to you. Whatever you like to use. Um, you can even use your art glitter glue and glue on the backs of your things and just put them down. However you want to do this. And, um, boy, I should take that out of there. Look at that. That's a big ucky. You know, I think that's part of the wax paper that came up. Don't do it, Ange. It's a mess. Okay, I won't. <laughs> You're going to see me digging into my paint. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, this is me already. Just a beginning. I already got my sweater. And I've got my water. hands and you'll see under here when we lift this up that it's quite painty okay come back tomorrow we'll see you then bye bye for now